Here now with more on local scams and flams is Yale Hederity. You said it, Craig. Here I am with more, and boy, oh boy, is it ever. Scams and flams, scams and flams, scams and flams. Oh, my scammy, flammy, mammy. How can today's consumers tell whether a business is legit or a scam? Whether they're dealing with a, a trusted vendor or a con artist running some fly-by-night rookery? Well, sometimes they just can't. As I learned, chasing a tip about a new store at the Daytonstown Mall. I'm standing in front of Barnaby Hutchman's Wishing Well and Such. Mr. Hutchman provides an indoor wishing well service where a person can, for a fee, make a wish. Is this a legitimate service or is it possibly a ripoff? That's what we intend to find out. There it is. Keep it coming. The more you put in, the stronger you wish. Well, who are you? Mr. Hutchman, Yale Hederity, <laughs> Channel 8, Scams and Flams. Oh, Will, will my wish come true? You know what? If it doesn't, you can come back tomorrow and wish some more. See? Get it? Keep it coming. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. You have to go now. Uh, Mr. Hutchman, is this Wishing Well store a scam? No, it is not. Now, I'm trying to run a business here. So All it's right. not a scam? No. Turn the camera off. Let's go. Well, thank you very much for answering our questions Ow. today. We'll recommend your store on the news. What? What did you say? I said, since it's not a scam, we'll recommend your store on the news. You, you will? Well, yeah, why wouldn't we? Oh. Well, do you have any other questions? Okay. Oh, come on. Barnaby, or Barn as I call him, explained in detail how the wishing well service worked. Money is taken and a wish is made, which, if you put enough money in or have a pure heart, will come true guaranteed. Barnaby also spends the shop's funds supporting other local businesses, including ice cream purveyors. Well, thank you. Wishing well and such. A local store that may seem like a scam, but excuse actually me, sir, isn't. Excuse me, I'm from National News News Service. Do you claim to investigate local merchants? What? Do you claim to do investigations about local merchants, yes or no? I, I don't have to talk to you. Come on. Come Hold on. on a minute. There's somebody I want you to meet. Barn? Uh, my name isn't Barnaby. Huh? This is Chuck Timmons. He's an actor. The Wishing Well shop was a front we've been operating to find out how in-depth your in-depth reporting really is. But it's a, it's a scam? Yes. Barn? It's a scam that was perpetrated on you to investigate weak, shallow, spineless, fraudulent reporting masquerading as investigative journalism. It is absolutely shameful, sir. It is exploitative. Okay, and all you... right, enough. But he's the fraud. I know, but come on. Let's get off. No, oh, it's it's not true, okay? It's not true, okay? We're just fooling around here. See, we're not investigating anyone. This this is the fraud. Really? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, right. I uh I'm an actor. I'm an actor. Easy actor. And this is my real hair. <laughs> you guys. Oh. You guys, you guys, you really had me going. <laughs> oh my god. So you have to be very careful. What seems like a scam may not be a scam, but somebody may try to turn it into a scam. But that in itself may be the scam. So things can get pretty tricky out there for consumers, Craig. And for investigative reporters. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now let's turn to